am not walking alone. When somebody come back and and bring information to you, let's bring the phone down a little bit. When people bring information back to you and you're trying to figure out where it came from, why is it being talked about, who is the message about, stay away from people who recite information back to you. Every time you talk to somebody, they got information. It's very good to have discernment. If you do not have discernment, you're going to go through the same thing like a, 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 a hamster wheel. Over and over and over and over again. Why? We get older every single day. We are not getting younger. Why involve yourself with people who tell you that people are talking about you, but the people that talked about you talk to them? Have discernment and open your eyes. Hold up. When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though war may break out against me, even then I will be confident. You got to be confident in your intuition, the way that you feel, because the way that God operates, the way that God operates is supernatural. Everybody in this world experienced God in their own supernatural way. Thank you, Jesus. When you are walking in alignment with God, thank you, God. Thank you. When you are in alignment with God, you will have people who will try to tear you down. They will become in twos and threes and fours and six. They will become larger than who you think you are. But you are larger than who they think they are. Confident, confident, confident. Thank you, God. Thank you for fixing that for me. You shall still stay confident that everything that is happening to you is for you, for your greater good. You got to watch who you talk to because they might say you crazy or they might say that, oh, she want to be better than somebody. She just want to have a story. You have to already witness what God can do for you. It's a testimony. It's a testimony. Don't get discouraged when God gets quiet. When God gets quiet, it's because you are doing the right thing. You don't need no help when you are going through it. There's times where God will be completely silent. Am I in posture? When you hear silence, praying, you keep praying, you keep praying. You don't get no answer. It's because what you're doing is right. Stop thinking too much. Your testimony, they won't understand because they're not you. And no one is like you. Always think that way. You're going to walk closer and closer to God. Because you're going to begin to accept who you are as an individual. You're going to hear God more clear. You're not going to battle with yourself about if was that God that I just heard always feel like that was God. You have to focus on you. You have to focus on your mission because God could use your enemies as your footstool. Who are you watching them for? You don't have to watch them. Watch you. Watch that book. Watch your words. How you speak of others. Become humble within yourself. Stop gossiping. Stop talking bad on others and what they should have and what they shouldn't have and how long it took them to have that. Words are spell bond. And my friend, today, I don't know. I just pushed record and I started recording and it went from one thing to the next. But I just want to let you know, right now I have a different task. Right now I have a different duty. Because the amount of things that I experience in life, if I told you, You would think I'm making it up, but it's facts. Stay obedient. Stay upright. Watch your tongue. Stay away from people who you know ain't no good for you. I'm just going to say it. This is not a video 
towards anyone. But if you felt anything from this video, I need you to comment. I am not walking alone. And I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, my loves.